bit of lead work so while I can see there's nothing around you can have the full lead but he must not pull anytime you give a dog the full lead he must not pull and look he chooses to stay next to me because he's a good boy oh. wow oh he's a clever Woo -hoo 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 -hoo. A clever lad come on up yay we're going to do some games but not with the ball we're going to do impulse control again but with a bite toy good boy oh what's that left it bang thank you good boy ready so what I'm going to do, I'm going to charge a word. So I'm going to use the word ready, you can use whatever word you want. So before any games commence, or any treat throwing, you're going to say ready. And then we're going to go. Get it, get it, get it, get it. Got me arm. <laughs> Come on. <laughs> Game, not a girl game. <laughs> oh, good boy. But when you let him win, he has to be really chugging on it, and he's not. You can see when he is because it gives me whiplash. Good boy! Yay! Good boy! And then we try his impulse control. Still this. It's hard work. command is drop. Lenny, drop. Sit. Good. Because he is a bright red already. At, at, sit. So we find what the dog works for. We know he works for a ball. And we now know he works for a bike toy. The ball's probably easier. So what I'm going to do is, so there I said yes. So when my hand is out to the side and I say yes, that's when he can get it. When my hand is close to my body, he cannot touch it. Or if I'm going to throw it, or I can even use the word ready and then flick it out. So what the dog will read is not so much the words, it's the movement you make. So I'll see if he's done a demo. Ready? So what I'm going to do... If I charge the word, ready or go, or whatever your own word is, I'm going to charge it up. As we're passing dogs, I should be able to say, so in this instance, ready, and the dog should immediately, boom, what game are we playing? That's the logic behind this. He's having a great time. Then he dropped. Good boy! I used the wrong command with you yesterday. You just learned two commands, didn't you? And you always end those games while the dog's wanting more. And you never give the dog that particular toy that you're using, or those, you're going to have a few of, the, of his favourite toys that he really likes. You're never going to leave the dog with them. He's only going to get them when you let him have them, which is only going to be on a walk. Look at him. This is just for people. Spurs up. Very assertive. It's just for people, right? As far as I can see, but no dog, look at him pulling. So he's going to get corrected. Look at him, pushing, giving it his all. Oh, go on then. Enough, now. Oh, 
I know, they're dipping. What was all that about? But I want to, I want to make sure when you're walking him, you're walking him like this. Nothing, no pressure. You see when uh, we pass the others, so here we go, we've got a dog in front of us. We've only just cocked it. We're going to wait. So once the dog passes, we're going to go. Hey. Whoa. Hey, 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 hey. So, he was doing really well until he went to cross in front of me. But that was much better. So that's a nice narrow pass. What, four foot? Five foot? No screaming, barking. He just did his swirl in front of me. And pulling after. You never let a dog pull before, during or after seeing a dog. He doesn't yet lift his leg, but when he does, you also don't let them pee before or after seeing a dog. So he did really well then. I'm glad we saw something. So probably your way forward with Lenny and a lot of other reactive dogs that people are on is to withhold the food, feed them whilst they're on the walk, paying much more attention. So we've got another dog coming, he's too busy looking for his treats, so I'm going to see if we can... Um, oh, put that there. Good, wait. Good. Good boy. Good boy. Beautiful boy. Good boy. Boy, very good. Well, you just chucked them off and done them on the floor. No corrections, nothing needed there. Very minimum um, on the lead. Beautiful. It will also depend on what dog is passing you and what that dog is doing. If that dog is pulling out and leaning, you don't have to be making a noise, but pulling out and leaning and being all assertive, he's probably going to be worse. Probably going to react. There's a crumb on the floor, find it. Uh, if they're barking and screaming at him, he's probably going to react. You've got to remember, a dog will mirror another dog's reaction. Dogs read dogs faster than we do. So he likes it, Skinny. You're just super good today, haven't you? Super good. So those are the only two dogs we've seen, I think, today. And he's passed with flying colours. Oh, he's a clever boy. Oh, he's a good boy. Chewy biscuits. Enjoying some wall walking. Chew them, you're just swallowing them. He's a clever boy. He's not looking lovely. <laughs> Come on. Up. Yay! Go, go, go. Woohoo! Clever lad. Up. Yay! Oh, he's king of the castle now. He loves this. This is what you have to do with him. You gotta figure out what your dog likes. And he loves his agility and his food. He loves his food. Go. Good boy. Good boy. <laughs> See, we can get him on the bin like I did with my dog. This is hard because it's a slippery surface. My shepherd did it though. I've only done it once. Come on. Oh, good boy. Oh, he's so clever. <laughs> he's stuck now. That's what mine did. <laughs> oh, so we went full hog, right on. <laughs> Careful, Pally, gonna fall. Go, go. Wow, so clever. 